Are you looking for the best 3D printers under $300? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. GeeTech A10M. Have you been longing for a dual extruder, but your heart was let down by the cost? Or are you tired of monochromatic prints and you want a little color? Then you'll adore the GeeTech A10M and see, yet another weird sounding name, the best 3D printer under 300 for multicolor prints. Dual extruders have several benefits compared to single extruder 3D printers. For one, you can switch printing material on the fly. A single extruder does not allow for this. Secondly, you can create truly creative pieces that cannot be made on any other printer than the GeeTech A10M. You can make a model that is compact in some areas and flexible in others. For example, you can make a horse that has a sturdy compact face and flowing flexible hair. The other cool thing about the GeeTech A10M is that you can print soluble supports that can be removed easily. The problem with supports on single extruders is that when you remove them, they can leave marks on the print surface. These marks need to be removed through post-processing to make the print look smooth, without blemishes. However, with the A10M you can make a print using PVA as supports. These supports can be removed easily by dissolving them in water of 60 degrees Celsius. It is quite miraculous, you won't see any evidence of the supports later. With the A10M your whole model can be printed in whatever color you fancy. For example you can mix red and white in a certain ratio to make yellow. So with just two colored filaments, you can create a whole range of colors. What's bad about the printer is that the dual extrusion has a steep learning curve, so it may take a while to fully unleash your creative genius and tap into the full capability of this machine. Also, the fact that you need two filaments means that your expenditure is going to increase. So make sure your wallet is ready to handle this 3D printer, it's a high-maintenance damsel. At Number 2. Fulsun Q5. The Fulsun Q5, why do these 3D printers have such weird names, has a solid construction quality. It is a great budget 3D printer under 300 which is sturdy, which helps keep the machine stable when printing at high speeds. The setup is easy and it takes about 30 minutes to set the whole thing up. You just need to fix a few screws, attach a few wires, and presto, your printer is good to go. As you've seen before no 3D printer is perfect, and this one comes with its own set of flaws. The build volume is pretty small, 200 by 200 by 200, and this means that you cannot make large prints. The build volume is one of the smallest in this list, by quite a big margin. The print quality is good though not as good as that of the Ender 3 Pro but it is faster as well as more affordable. And lastly, it's loud, with the sound at around 50 dB, which is almost the same decibel volume as two people talking in a room. So this may be something to keep in mind. But if you are looking for a Delta 3D printer, look no further, the Fulsun Q5 is one of the best 3D printers under 300. At Number 3. Elegu Mars 2 Pro. Then the Mars 2 Pro is a surprisingly affordable 3D printer that can print amazing figures at a criminally low price. The Mars 2 makes prints with fine details. The resolution is 0.05mm for the XY axis and 0.00125mm for the Z axis, as compared to Tronxy's 0.1mm resolution. This means the print quality is excellent. If your ears might have suffered under machines like the Tronxy and the Sobel, it will let out a sigh of relief with the Mars 2. This is a quiet, little machine that just does its job without the whining. The previous iteration of the Mars 2 Pro, Mars Pro, came with a layer curing time of 6 seconds. But the Mars 2 has a curing time of 1 to 2 seconds. So the printing is super fast. This is due to the monochrome LCD which lets through a greater intensity of ultraviolet light. In addition, LCD has almost 10x the lifetime of the Mars LCD. The Mars 2 Pro also has a better build plate compared to the Mars Pro which we're thankful for as it massively improves upon the printing experience. Now a danger with resin-based printers is that the odors aren't safe to inhale or touch. They can cause irritation to your lungs. 
In the long term, if your skin comes in contact with these resins, you can develop an allergy. Fortunately, the Mars 2 Pro has a built-in carbon filter which we noticed made any volatile odor go away. The Mars 2 is a fantastic resin 3D printer for those who are kids at heart and have a passion for superheroes, tabletop gaming, comic book characters, and anime. You can create your favorite miniatures and characters in the comfort of your house. At Number 4. Anycubic Photon S. The Anycubic Photon S 3D printer was made just for you. SLA 3D printers, resin-based printers, produce higher resolution prints than standard FDM 3D printers. And with the super affordable price, the Photon S is a steal. The Anycubic comes armed with a unique matrix-based UV lighting system and a fantastic 2K resolution LCD screen. This combination of the two techs produces prints of exceptional quality. The printing is also faster compared to a standard FDM 3D printer. If you are a beginner with no idea about 3D printers, don't worry. The setup is easy and using the touchscreen is intuitive. While this resin 3D printer is cheap, the actual resin costs almost 10x the price of standard filaments. This is not the only downside to resin-based 3D printers, resin has limited color options compared to other FDM-based filaments. And while the Photon S comes with a filter, we found the immediate area still had a smell. We still recommend following best practices for handling the resin. But don't let all this scare you, the Photon S is one of the best resin budget 3D printers under 300. If you do plan to buy one, make sure you buy it directly from the Anycubic site so you can save over $100. At Number 5. Sovel SV01. The Sovel is the lesser-known brother of the Ender Pro 3. But don't let its lack of fame fool you. The SV01 is as good as the Ender 3, probably better, in many ways. You can make large prints, thanks to its build volume of 280 by 240 by 300 millimeters. This is more than that of the Ender. The 3D printer comes 95% assembled. For newbies, this is fantastic, they can finish the setup in a jiffy. So for those daunted by the Ender 3 setup, get the Sovel. The Sovel comes with a direct drive extruder, as compared to Ender's Bowden. This is suited for flexible and abrasive filaments like TPU. Direct drive also prevents excessive stringing from occurring. But the downside of these extruders is that the print times are slower. The glass bed of the SV01 allows for better sticking during operation as well as better removal once the process is done. If your spouse is someone who is sensitive to noise and throws a hissy fit, hurling dishes at you at the speed of light, you may want to reconsider this one. The Sovel can be noisy due to its loud fans. We're giving this word of warning, as we don't want this article breaking up any relationships. But if you can dodge flying plates like Neo or if you found the Sovel interesting, we wholeheartedly give a huge thumbs up to this. At Number 6. Creality Ender 3 Pro. This cool 3D printer has it all. It's affordable, makes great prints, and is beginner-friendly. The Creality Ender 3 Pro is the complete package. In spite of its affordability, the Ender 3 produces prints as good as 3D printers 3x its price. However, you'll have to tinker with the settings to dial it in. If you're looking for a plug-and-play machine then skip the Ender and look at the next two options below. That said after your printer and software settings are dialed in, operating the printer is simple and straightforward. One thing we like is the print bed is magnetic and can be removed easily after the 3D printing process. This bed is also flexible and you can remove prints without causing damage, just make sure you let the prints cool off though before removing them. The Ender 3 Pro also comes with an open source software, great for the nerdy among you, which you can tinker with to produce more intricate prints and complex prints. Not only that but you can add performance mods and quality of life upgrades to turn this little machine into a beast. Speaking of little, the Ender 3 has a low profile and can be set on almost any desk in your house. If you hate installing or building stuff, then setting up the Ender can be frustrating. You may find it challenging to put the pieces together if you are mechanically disinclined. No problemo, check the video below to help help you step by step AZ through the whole process. You can't go wrong with the Creality Ender 3, 
it is one of the best budget 3D printers under $300, and we recommend it to everyone, both beginners and experts alike.